Going to the movie theater is an experience unlike any other, but many people enjoy watching films in the comfort of their own home. In the living room, you're in complete control, being able to fast forward through the boring scenes, rewind to watch the awesome part again, and hit the pause button whenever you choose. Especially today, with shared movie universes and crossovers becoming the norm, Easter eggs are more prevalent than ever in major Hollywood productions, and it's easier to dissect each frame of the picture when you can freeze it for as long as you like. Sometimes, your eyes need to make sure they really saw what you thought. Here are the 10 most paused scenes in popular movies. The Wolf of Wall Street. Long before she became Harley Quinn in the DCEU, Margot Robbie turned heads in Martin Scorsese's The Wolf of Wall Street, co-starring as Jordan Belfort's sexy and seductive wife, Naomi. Several scenes in the film required the actress to show some skin, and one in particular had viewers reaching for the pause button. Following an argument, Naomi says Jordan can't touch her for a very long time and teases him by showing off a new look. With Naomi's legs spread out, Jordan points out a security camera he installed in a teddy bear, meaning his wife was flashing his security guards. Naomi closes up quickly, but not before everyone gets a look. Star Wars. Stormtroopers are some of the most mocked villain henchmen in all movies. They are notorious for their horrible aim and frequently let the heroes escape so they can defeat the Empire. But one Imperial soldier got it worse than all the others. In A New Hope, as the stormtroopers enter a doorway looking for the rebels, one of the troopers on the right hits his head and went down in infamy. The blooper became so iconic that George Lucas augmented the sound effect in the special edition to draw attention to it, and purposefully had Jango Fett hit his head in Attack of the Clones as a callback. That extra may have screwed up in his moment, but but he still got to act in Star Wars. Jurassic World. Director Colin Trevorrow decided to flood his Jurassic World with product placement in order to offer commentary on the modern corporate-sponsored world we live in. This provided the opportunity for a good number of jokes, including an amusing one near the end during the pterodactyl attack. You may notice a man who's being very careful with his drinks, making sure neither of them spills as he runs for cover. That person is none other than Jimmy Buffett, the famous singer of the song Margaritaville, who also launched a line of restaurants with that name. It's a cool Easter egg that music fans should get a kick out of. Basic Instinct. Sharon Stone was the sex symbol of the 1990s, and she more than earned that reputation with her turn as Catherine Trammell in Basic Instinct. The scene has now become the stuff of legend. While being interrogated by police, Catherine decides to flaunt her sexuality in order to distract the officers. All it took was a simple cross of the legs, and everyone was stunned in silence. We have to think that many men who saw this sequence had a reaction similar to that of Wayne Knight, trying to catch a peek before becoming embarrassed and trying to resume a sense of normalcy. Iron Man. It's easy to laugh at now, but there was a time when the Marvel Cinematic Universe was seen as overly ambitious, and some doubted it could even work. To their credit, the filmmakers took things slow in the beginning, dialing back on their now customary Easter eggs and connections. The first Iron Man movie is low on references to other Marvel properties, but there is one that got many comic fans excited. As Pepper walks in on Tony Stark removing the Iron Man suit for the first time, a prototype of Captain America's shield can be seen lying on his table, a hint that Marvel had greater things in mind. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. If adolescent men in the 1980s had a crush, chances are it was most likely B.B. Cates. One viewing of Fast Times at Ridgemont High makes it easy to see why. In arguably the film's most iconic sequence, she emerges from a swimming pool, soaking wet in a red bikini, and undoes her top. It's a very brief scene, it was only the daydream of Judge Reinhold's character, but for many teens in the audience, it was an impactful moment that was very real for them. Cates was reluctant to shoot the scene, but several moviegoers are happy she went through with it. Raiders of the Lost Ark. During a tense moment in the first Indiana Jones film, our hero has a rocket launcher pointed at Belloc and his team, threatening to blow up the Ark if they don't free Marion. As Indy's rival gapes in amazement at Jones's persistence, a fly just happens to land on his face and begins crawling up his chin. With actor Paul Freeman in the middle of a line delivery, the insect finds its way directly into Freeman's mouth, never to be seen again. Nobody knows for sure why Steven Spielberg went with this take for the finished film, but the detail is easy to miss unless you're looking for it. With viewers so caught up in the drama, they'd be forgiven for not seeing the fly. Man of Steel. The climactic showdown between Superman and General Zod bordered on being sensory overload with all that was going on, but attentive eyes were able to catch some sly references to other DC characters. The most notable one came when Superman and Zod took their fight to space and wrecked a satellite that was flying around. It's a blink and you'll miss it detail, but the satellite clearly has the Wayne Enterprises logo on it, revealing that Batman exists in this universe well before Batman vs Superman was ever announced. For many DC fans, it was a dream come true, and teased that tremendous things were on the way. 
Fight Club, the twist in Fight Club seems obvious on a rewatch, and director David Fincher was trying to give the whole thing away from the beginning. Throughout the first act, there are numerous instances where Tyler Durden shows up for a single frame, as the narrator is at work or, or in a doctor's appointment. It's supposed to signal that Tyler is in the narrator's mind, begging to be unleashed. Those of us who noticed this the first time around were just waiting for the narrator to have that realization, and few could argue that the results were anything less than explosive. Star Wars The Force Awakens. Luke Skywalker is in just a single scene in the saga's seventh episode, so fans can be forgiven if they spend a little too much time analyzing it carefully for clues about the character. When he first appears, Luke is standing next to what some believe is a gravestone for someone close to Luke. Others think it's just a shaped rock on the mountain, but since there's no close-up of it, it's difficult to say for sure. Luke's post-Return of the Jedi history has been the subject of much debate ever since Episode 7 was announced, with details of his activities hard to come by. Until Episode 8 reaches theaters, viewers We'll just have to keep theorizing. Help! Help! I can't stop it! The, are gone! the train scene in Spider Man 2. We begin our list with a funny entry. 2004's Spider-Man 2 remains one of the most faithful and outright best comic book movies to date. Tobey Maguire's Sean in his best performance as the titular hero, while Alfred Molina gave one of the best villain performances of all time in a superhero movie. And it's a scene involving them both that we're referring to here. Molina's Dr. Octopus had sabotaged the controls of a train, leaving it unable to break and Spider-Man to save the passengers. Using his webbing and all of his strength, Spidey saved the day, but the strained faces Tobey Maguire was making were hilarious and people loved pausing on them to have a good laugh. Perfection. Naked Mystique in X-Men The Last Stand. Prior to Jennifer Lawrence taking over the role in the new X-Men movie timeline, the equally sexy Rebecca Romaine played Mystique in the franchise. She looked incredible in the blue makeup that created the character's look, but it's a scene without said makeup that is one of the most paused in superhero movie history. In 2006 X-Men The Last Stand, Romaine's Mystique is injected with the mutant cure, resulting in her blue skin disappearing. This left the character looking completely human and completely naked. Viewers around the world looked on in awe as Romaine laid on the ground in her birthday suit, and they paused en masse to get a better look. No, no, that's just a prototype. What's it made of? Vibranium. Captain America's shield in Iron Man. These days, seeing Captain America's shield in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is no big deal. Captain America had his first solo movie five years ago. Chris Evans has become a prominent part of the franchise as the super soldier since then. But back in 2008, he hadn't even been mentioned. That changed in Iron Man, when a partially completed replica of the shield was seen in Tony Stark's laboratory, resulting in lots of pausing on the part of the viewer. It should also be noted that Captain America could be seen under the ice in a deleted scene in The Incredible Hulk later that year, something a lot of people have pressed pause on since it was made public. Scared of a little lightning? I'm not overly fond of what follows. Thor in The Incredible Hulk. Prior to Captain America's first appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the next Avenger to follow Iron Man and the Hulk into the franchise was Thor in his 2011 solo movie. This resulted in some retrospective pausing of a scene in 2008's The Incredible Hulk, when viewers thought they saw Thor making a brief cameo. It came in the scene when the Hulk and Betty Ross are in a cave and there's a thunderstorm going on. Viewers thought the storm was caused by the God of Thunder's arrival on Earth and swore blind that they saw him fall to the ground in the background. Of course, they turned out to be wrong. But a lot of pausing went on when people believed they had seen him. Yeah, I just need a couple minutes. Oh, hell. Night Owl and Silk Spectre in Watchmen. As with the audiences of any movie genre, comic book movie viewers love a good sex scene, and they were treated to one of the more revealing examples in comic book movie history in 2009's Watchmen. It happens on board Dreyberg's owl ship, and Ackerman's breasts were completely exposed for the scene. Of course, this resulted in a hell of a lot of pause buttons being pressed around the world, as viewers honed in for a better look. You sure about this? Yeah. It's going to be fun. Scarlett Johansson's face in The Avengers. It's always comforting to find out that even the most beautiful people can be caught off guard looking less than attractive. So when that happened to the gorgeous Scarlett Johansson in 2012's The Avengers, a lot of people were eager to see. Johansson's Black Widow was caught looking a lot, well, uglier than usual in the scene in which she commandeered a Shatari aircraft. As she went to cut a cord holding a Shatari henchman in place, she made a face that only her mother could love. It's a scene that has been paused many times and been used in countless memes ever since it was first seen. Yeah, this isn't creepy at all. The Collector's Collection in Guardians of the Galaxy. 
Superhero movie fans love a good Easter egg, and these days spend just as much time looking for them as they do enjoying the plot of the movie. And the most Easter egg rich scene in comic book movie history came in 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy. The scene we're referring to is, of course, the one in the Collector's Museum on Nowhere. Benicio Del Toro's character owned a lot of interesting species and items, and eagle-eyed viewers loved spotting them, which resulted in a lot of pausing. The likes of Howard the Duck, Adam Warlock's cocoon, a dark elf, and the slug creatures from Slither are just some of the things that could be seen in there. The Avengers jump into action in Avengers Age of Ultron. At the start of 2015's Avengers Age of Ultron, there was an epic scene in which the six original members of the titular team storm Baron Strucker's Hydra base to retrieve the scepter that was previously wielded by Loki in the first Avengers movie. As the team cut through Strucker's forces like a hot knife through butter, there's one epic moment in which they all jump into shot together. And it's a shot that prompted the use of millions of pause buttons around the world. Iron Man is flying, Captain America is on a motorcycle, and Thor, Hawkeye, Black Black Widow and Hulk are all leaping. It looks awesome. She turned off her regulator and went subatomic. The Wasp in Ant-Man. In 2015's Ant-Man, viewers learned that Janet Van Dyne, the original Wasp, disappeared into the subatomic quantum realm while disabling a Soviet nuclear missile many years before the events of the movie. At the end of the movie, Paul Rudd's Scott Lang also had to go subatomic to defeat Corey Stoll's Yellow Jacket. And viewers noticed something very interesting while he was in the quantum realm. It was an outline that looked very much like the original Wasp, prompting lots of viewers to hit pause to make their own assumptions about whether or not it was really her. It's it's gonna be nothing but short, short skirts around the house. Harley Quinn getting dressed in Suicide Squad. 2016's Suicide Squad received very mixed reviews from critics and fans alike. But one thing everyone can agree on is that Margot Robbie looked absolutely incredible. With that in mind, this particular entry in our most paused moments list should come as no surprise. It's the scene in which Harley gets changed into her costume and a large group of men watch on in awe. The camera pans all the way up her body and just about catches a glimpse of her bra as she pulls her top down over her torso. Men around the world, and indeed some women, pause that scene over and over and over and over again. Whoa, <laughs> somebody should find that poor animal and put it out of its misery. The wedding scene in The Little Mermaid. After Ursula steals Ariel's voice, she transforms into Vanessa and hypnotizes Prince Eric into loving her, so they could be married before sunset. On the ship, Vanessa and Eric are listening to their vows from a very happy minister. Fans have long thought that the minister was a little too happy, especially in his pants, but Disney claims it was just his knee. After the debacle of their VHS cover, maybe people are just being overly sensitive, but what do you think? Now, which one of you Nordic urine been messing with the shadow man? Jack Skellington in The Princess and the Frog. The Princess and the Frog takes place in New Orleans, so there's no reason for someone from The Nightmare Before Christmas to be there. Still, when Dr. Facilier summons the shadow demons, one of them looks similar to the protagonist in Disney's stop-motion film. He's tall, skinny, and has large oval-shaped eyes, leading many to believe that this is Jack Skellington. Is Jack trying to take over Mardi Gras now? We hope he thought this one through. Twelve. Oh no. There are 13 steps on this ramp. The poster in The Rescuers. Bob Newhart and Ava Gabor starred in Disney's 1977 release of The Rescuers, but on January 8, 1999, Disney recalled all of their home videos of the same title. At 38 minutes into the film, Bernard and Bianca fly through the sky in a sardine can strapped to the back of Orville, proprietor of Albatross Air Charter Service. In two non-consecutive frames, you can see the poster of a naked woman that was added in post-production, probably not by Disney. Some paused moments are a stretch, but this one is definitely there. Esmeralda, dark hair, works with a goat, remember? Boy, I do. Way to go, lover boy! Esmeralda in The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Esmeralda is the deuterogamist of Disney's 1996 animated feature film The Hunchback of Notre Dame, behind the star Quasimodo. Still, it's her character that gets all the attention. Maybe it's because the stunning Demi Moore voices her, or maybe it's because of her fire dance. In the film, she is clothed during the dance, but if you pause the scene at just the right moment, a few frames show her bare body in the flames. Maybe the animators were watching an early cut of Moore's 1996 film Striptease while animating this scene. You gotta buckle up your lips like this. Mr. Limpet in The Little Mermaid. 
Another reason viewers pause the scenes in The Little Mermaid is because of cameos from other characters. You probably know about Goofy, Donald, Mickey, and even the green Muppet Kermit the Frog during King Triton's entrance, but did you know about Don Knotts? Don Knotts played Mr. Limpet, a man turned into a fish in Warner Bros. 1964 film The Incredible Mr. Limpet. He shows up at the end of the Under the Sea song, and if you ever go on the ride at California Adventure, he's there too. This isn't the garage. I know. The Jungle Book in Meet the Robinsons. Disney owns numerous franchises, and their marketing teams know how to cross-promote them. It looks like the animators in Disney's 2007 animated film Meet the Robinsons learned from their marketing co-workers. Behind Goob, you can see a billboard for Disney's animated classic The Jungle Book. We guess it's easier to use a poster from another film, rather than creating new artwork. Or maybe the animators just love Baloo like we do. I could be a good guy if I wanted to, and I could win a medal. Paper Man Memo and Wreck-It Ralph. The Oscar-winning animated short Paper Man was shown before the film Wreck-It Ralph while it was in theaters. The memo with a lipstick stain found its way out of one film and into another. When Ralph is at his bad anonymous meeting, you can see the memo in the background on the bulletin. It must have been one really big gust of wind to make it all the way to Litwax Arcade. Still, it's a wonderful way to connect these two films forever. I'm here, baby! <laughs> no panties in Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Some actors build an entire backstory for the characters they're playing before starting their performance. Maybe animators should learn this technique as well, but instead of a backstory, they should learn to add undergarments. The sultry wife Jessica, who is married to Roger Rabbit, has a mishap in the film Who Framed Roger Rabbit. When she is thrown from a car after hitting a light post, we see she's missing a certain something. You guessed it, she's not wearing any panties. Oops. Well, then why don't you find some place for it to sleep? Well, I think of a plan! Mike Wazowski in Frozen. The green round monster in Monsters, Inc., Mike Wazowski, makes an appearance in Frozen. No, he's not playing in the snow with Olaf, but rather carved as a wooden statue. In the very large Oaken's trading post, we see numerous wooden statues on his desk, and one of those statues looks awfully familiar to Mike Wazowski. On top of that, there is a Mickey for sale in the shop too, but both of these are pretty quick, so be ready with the pause button. Find your humanity! Haven't any of you ever had a dream? Pinocchio and Pumbaa in Tangled. In the film Tangled, the filmmakers hid numerous Easter eggs for their audience. In the bookstore alone, there is a plethora of hidden gems that you have to keep your eye out for, but it is the pub where most people miss two in particular. Both Pinocchio from the beloved 1940 classic and Pumbaa from the 1994 film The Lion King can be seen in the same shot. Most fans only notice one or the other because they appear at the same time, so make sure to pause the film at this scene. There's our list! What do you think of our video? Did we skip over any scenes you paused while watching Disney films? Sound off in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe to our channel for more fun videos. Thanks for watching!